PDF stamping is a way of adding unique text to each PDF you sell. This can help personalize the PDF and make it unique for each individual. It can also help tackle potential file sharing as each PDF can be stamped with unique identifying information. To enable PDF stamping, the first thing you need is a PDF based product. I won't go into adding a product here, but below this video, I'll link to our article on adding a digital product. Be aware, the PDF must be unlocked and without a password. In other words, it needs to be a standard, unencrypted PDF. When we stamp the PDF, we encrypt it and the file cannot be edited and the stamp cannot be removed. There are two ways of enabling PDF stamping. Firstly, when you create a product and attach a PDF, the option to turn on stamping will be presented. Secondly, if you later decide to add PDF stamping to your product, you can do so within the individual product settings page. To configure PDF stamping, go to settings and then click PDF stamping. There's a number of configurations you can adjust such as text size, color, alignment and so on. Use these to match your styling. Further down, you'll see a field named stamp text. This is where you configure the text itself that you want on the PDF. Note the section below that called stamping variables. This helps explain how to use a liquid template to add dynamic variables. For example, if I wanted to change the default stamp text from displaying the buyer's email and instead display the buyer's name, I can simply swap the code as shown here. Change order buyer email for order by name. You can also preview the stamp by clicking preview and then clicking the preview PDF button. That will download a PDF with a stamp text. When you're happy with the changes, click the update button. For more complex or dynamic stamping, follow the link to our liquid template reference guide and I'll also link to that below this video. When your customer, the buyer, purchases the product, they'll receive a download link as normal. But because each order is unique and depending on the size of the PDF, the buyer might experience a fetching file page as we prepare and stamp the PDF. When the file is ready, they'll see the normal download screen. And this is the PDF we just configured.